An attempt to resolve issues with violent offenders being released immediately after arrest under the state's bail reform law is hitting resistance in the New Hampshire House. Senate Bill 92 would carve out certain violent offenses requiring offenders charged with crimes like felony assault or robbery to face a judge before they can be released. And you would go directly and you would have an arraignment before the court as opposed to a hearing over the, the bail commission. But some reps believe violent offenders should have the same opportunity for release as anyone else under bail reform. And they say this bill would refill county jails. You can do very small amounts of inappropriate or unwarranted, I forget exactly the language, unwarranted touching. And it ends up that people end up, that all of those people would be retained. Others believe the system created by the 2018 bail reform law has tilted the criminal justice system too far in the favor of the accused. This is insanity. We are not, we're not talking about small things here. And I think everybody that's sitting here protecting the people because they may have to sit in jail for three days. Well, lucky them it's only three days because the victim is being affected for the rest of their life. The House Criminal Justice Committee ultimately voted to hold on to Senate Bill 92, a move likely to upset its prime sponsor, Senate Majority Leader Jeb Bradley. There are bad faith efforts in this House to delay and delay and hopefully kill. My suggestion is not one of those efforts. Let's get something that we can all support. Even with this delay, there is bipartisan agreement. The bail reform law, yet again, needs to be fixed. So many things have gone on in the past seven months that we are laughed at because we made a bit of luck. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.